Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best there. Apple just released a brand new iOS 4.1 software update for iPhone and iPod Touch owners out there. Now, if you buy one of the brand new iPod Touches, you already have this updated already on your device there. But uh, this is going to bring a lot of new bug fixes and features. One of the bugs is fixing is the proximity uh, sensor bug there where you hold the phone up to your cheek there while you're making a call, but it doesn't turn off the screen. You end up hitting buttons or muting the other person, which really sucks and gets on your nerves, but they finally fixed that one. But right now I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the other cool features in there. Now the main one that a lot of people are gonna be talking about is Game Center. And this is kind of like Xbox Live for your iPhone and iPod Touch. So applications or games that have this enabled, you can be able to get achievements, challenge your other friends in multiplayer games. And uh, this button right here, look at all your friend requests there. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot more. Again, my username or gamer tag, I don't know what they really call it, is Soldier Knows Best, so add me on there. And prepare to get whooped. <laughs> all right, and uh, you look at the games here. I guess this is probably going to be showing all the games that have Game Center enabled here. I don't know yet, but I'll make another video covering Game Center as we get more into it there. Next up, let's go to videos here. And now you have the ability to upload HD videos straight to YouTube or Mobile Me straight from your iPhone. Now, it is Wi Fi only. I know that kind of sucks, but it is 18.3G, so they're keeping us from doing that. So you can only do this on Wi Fi only, but it works. And uh, so it's better than offloading a video off your phone and then. To iMovie, they have to upload it from iMovie to YouTube. You can do it straight from here, which is pretty nice, pretty convenient. And also in the camera uh, uh, functionality here, they added the HDR option here, which is high dynamic range. And it takes a photo that just looks really sharp. It kind of takes a, a brighter image. So say you snap in a photo, right? You snap a regular photo. When you take HDR, it snaps a light, light version of that photo and a dark version of that photo, combines them together and just makes a really dynamic picture some of the time. Not all the time, but some of the times. And it looks better than a regular photo. But once you choose this option, just again by tapping the button on the top there, it's going to take the HDR photo. And also, it's also going to take a regular photo as well. So if you don't like the HDR version, just delete it and you'll still have the regular photo at the same time. All right, and let's go to iTunes here. And with iTunes, they added the ping functionality. So now you have ping in here. You can't activate your account in ping on here. You have to do that on the desktop. But once you get it activated, you can go in and see all the people that you're following there. And uh, you're going to see what songs they're buying, what reviews they're doing, all that cool stuff you want to. And uh, go to your profile as well. Look at all the little features of your profile there and your pe people, your activity, all that stuff. So now you can do everything you can do on the desktop and ping right here on your phone as well. And also with the, uh, they now added the option to buy, or I'm sorry, to rent TV shows for 99 cents directly on your phone, just like they're doing with the new Apple TV model. So you can do that with iTunes. And next up, let's show you now a couple other things I'm going to show you here. I don't, I don't, don't really need to show you. I'm not going to go into it. But um, now you have the ability to make FaceTime calls with email, since, especially since the iPod Touch doesn't have a phone number. Now you can do uh, FaceTime calls just using the email address, even if you're on the iPhone as well. And uh, also you can, uh, let me see here, what else can you do here? Um, what else? Also, in your favorite section of the uh, of your phone dialer list, there you have the option there now in your favorites to either choose to call that person or to do a FaceTime call with them. And I think that's about it. As I'm going through here, yeah, that's about it as far as the brand new features that are in the 4.1 software update. Not an amazing update, but it does uh, add a couple new things there that are going to be interesting there. And if you have any other ideas, anything that I missed in the video, leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.